This is Dr. Nishal Kundaragi, Senior Consultant Intervention Radiologist at Astro CMI Hospital, Bangalore. So, we are doing an educational video on microwave ablation of liver tumor for, for forthcoming 38th IRIA state conference conducted by BLD Association and Dr. Rashikar Muchandi. So, now patient, we have taken patient on table in the CT room along with the ultrasound machine. We are going to combine the ultrasound and CT images to do the microwave ablation of difficult location liver tumor that is in caudate lobe. We have taken a plain CT here. Earlier, we have shown the same uh, patient CT scan, uh, arterial phase and venous phase. This, this is the pre-ablation CT scan. This is the pre-ablation CT scan. We are seeing the biopsy proven HCC in the caudate lobe. So now we are moving to the procedure. Uh, hello everybody, I'm Dr. Rohit. I'm the Senior Specialist Intervention Radiologist at Astra CMI Hospital. So today we'll be briefing you about the microwave ablation. The first and the most important step before we start any procedure is to re reciprocate the image that we've seen on CT on the ultrasound. Do a proper planning. Make sure the lesion what we were seeing there is seen on ultrasound well. The needle track where we are going to be. Be very clear about where we are going to be and then we'll start off with the procedure. We've just uh, reciprocated the uh, image on ultrasound where, where we measured about uh, 3.2 into 3 centimeter lesion. This is the lesion that we're seeing, the lesion in the caudate lobe. And the plan would be to probably come from here behind this vein and hit the lesion. So this is going to be a, our plan and uh, we'll show you step by step on how we do it here. Okay. So we're just getting the uh, focus of the image on the ultrasound screen. All right. We generally like to do our ablation procedures under sedation. We have our anesthesia team back up. So we want to start deep sedation once we place the needle because we do not want too much respiratory motion. So right now what we're giving is just giving some amount of local anesthesia till the liver capsule so that the patient is comfortable when we are placing the needle. The entire length of the uh, local needle drag that is being seen, yes, you can see the entire needle drag there which is going up till the capsule. You want to infiltrate the local anesthesia up till the capsule so that the patient is pain free when we are inserting the needle. And ideally the entire length of the needle should be seen, which means we are in plane with the probe. So once the local is given, we just let it for about 30 seconds to one minute for the local to act. By then it gives us time to get the microwave antenna ready, which we will be showing right now. That is the microwave needle and this is the tubings and the connections that come with it. This acts as a stopper and helps us to measure the amount or the length of the needle that goes inside. So this, this gives us a fair idea about how much inside we are in. So we are measuring the same on the ultrasound machine. It says about nine and a half centimeters. So we need to go inside by nine and a half centimeters. The next step is to place the needle in the center of the lesion. What we also need to be careful is we're not hitting any major artery, portal vein or hepatic vein branches as we are going inside. We are inside the liver, we have entered the capsule. There is a small portal vein branch over there, which uh, Dr. Nishal sir is trying to avoid. We have kind of successfully evaded that, almost at the capsule of the lesion. We are inside the entire needle track with the tip exactly in the center of the lesion. Okay, Exactly where we wanted to be in the pre-procedural planning. So right exactly in the center of the lesion. We just document that, yes, perfect. So we are exactly in the center of the lesion where we wanted to be when we started off the procedure. We'll take a check CT to confirm the needle position and then we can go ahead with the ablation perm. We've done a check CT, that's a needle tip. So it's in C2, it's in the lesion. So we're happy with the position. We'll go ahead with the ablation. So we've got our settings ready. Uh, how much power we need to burn the lesion with and for how long. Uh, there is a preloaded sheet that comes with it. So depending upon the size of the lesion, you choose both the power as well as the time duration. So we're going ahead with about 80 watts for about 12 to 13 minutes. Confirming the needle position again and we'll start with the ablation. We can see some small hyperechoic area around the needle. Uh, the ablation has just started. Ideally post procedure, you just see it completely cleared with the hyperechoic uh, area once the ablation is done. Yeah, so you can see the entire tumor almost becoming hyperechoic. That's the cloud that we want to see. 
this hyperechoic uh, cloud that we are seeing is basically tumor boiling. We see a good uniform uh, cloud that we are able to appreciate now. We can see the uh, cloud increasing slowly, extending almost up to the margins now. So we can see the, the, the cloud cover completely uh, engulfing the lesion. Again, as we were discussing, this is the needle track and this is the hyperechoic cloud cover that, that we were referring to. The tumor is not seen now. The entire thing has been replaced by the cloud cover. So we are happy about the ablation part. And we still have about one, one and a half minute left. So we'll just complete that and we'll take the needle out. The ablation is complete now. So as we pull out the needle, we'll do something known as the tract ablation. This prevents the tumor seedling. So we are very sure that whatever needle tract that we have gone in, that we are not carrying any tumor cells outside. So the entire tract, how we have, how the needle is gone, we'll ablate the tract as well. And now that is what we'll be now doing and, right now. And stops bleeding also. Yes. Yeah. Whatever bleeding comes from the tract is also treated by tract ablation. Sir would be pulling out the needle at fixed time intervals, pulled it out by about a centimeter. He's again pulled it now. So this we're going to do it to the entire length till the liver capsule. Now we have uh, completed the ablation. So this is a post ablation CT scan showing good ablation with a hyperdensity inside suggesting microbleeds. So there is no extra hepatic bleeding, active bleeding or hematoma. Everything looks fine to us. So with this we are going to uh, complete our educational video regarding treatment of liver tumor in caudate lobe with microablation.